previous video on the channel, we looked at the Matrell MI3152 and we did the test on an EV charging point, Joe. <laughs> Loved the tester, what have got it out for today? Well, when we did the testing on that EV charge point, we barely scratched the surface of some of the functions and features and the things that this MI3152 is capable of. So it's a bit like trying to pick your top 10 favorite songs, but we've got our top 10 favorite features of the Matrell tester. So I think we have a look at some of those now. So Joe, you've promised me a top 10. Let's start with the first one. <laughs> so first on the list, we've got our auto sequences function. Now you remember from a previous video when we were doing the testing on the EV charge point, we went into the auto sequences menu and we selected the EV testing option there. However, there are other tests that can be carried out as well using this auto sequence function. So for example, if I just click on the little plus next to the auto sequences ring radial, you can see there that there's a number of tests that will be carried out that need to be done on ring and radial circuits. So it will take you through the testing sequence in a pre-programmed automatic manner. So what you got in store for me for the second one, Joe? So number two in our top 10, if we come out of this menu and go back to the main menu there, you can see you just press the back button and that'll take you back. Uh, there's also options to press on the screen as well if you want to. What we're gonna do now is have a look in our single tests menu, because of course with all the recent developments and changes to the regulations, we've started thinking about new types of protective device and we might wanna make sure that those protective devices are doing their job properly. In particular, we're talking about surge protection. If we go into our ISO menu, which is the insulation resistance menu effectively, we can have a look here. You see we've got this VAR option, which says Varista underneath it. So if we click on that, this is actually a test that we can do that will check that our surge protection devices are doing their job properly. Oh, fantastic. So what's your third function you're going to show me, Joe? So number three in our top 10 list, if again, if we come back out of the menu here, we'll stay in the single tests menu in this case. What we're gonna have a look at now is under the line option, if we go into here, you can see here we've got uh, numerous impedance tests, but look at here as well, we've got a voltage drop test. Now this is a very, very clever test. Very simply, you take a voltage reading at the start of the circuit, at the origin, and then you take a voltage test at the end of the circuit, and the MI3152, will tell you what the volt drop on that circuit is and whether it's acceptable or not. So what have you got in store for me for feature number four? So feature number four out of our top 10 is a really, really nice one. If we come back to our single test menu and click on the RCD button, we've got numerous RCD tests available here. We'll go into the auto setting. Now auto testing on multifunction testers is something that's been around for quite some time, but here's a nice little feature. If we click on this gray box down here and you'll have noticed this on a number of the screens that we've been looking at, you can actually go in and change certain parameters of the devices that you're testing or the test procedure that you're carrying out. And if we look here, RCD type, can you see it's currently set to A, but if we scroll through the menu there, we've got an AC type, we've got a B type, we've got a B plus type, and we've got an F type. So all of the RCD types that have been covered by BS7671, and we may need to be thinking about putting in different types of RCD in our modern installations, then all of those have been covered by the MI3152. So you talked about changes in BS7671 to do with RCDs. Can the Matrell MI3152 also keep up to date? Absolutely, just to give you an example of that, when the Matrell tester was first released, it didn't have the EV charge point auto sequence test in place that was developed by Matrell, and then that was made available via matrell.co.uk for you to download into the tester. So you can actually update elements of the software and upgrade elements of the software inside this tester from the comfort of your own home with a PC and an internet connection. So what you got installed for us for feature number six? So for feature number six, you've got this lovely memory organizer option. So you can come inside here, you can create uh, an installation structure, if you like, a testing structure. And within that, you can create several different objects. So if we create here, you see we've got a distribution board object and it's really easy to create a new one. You just add this little box symbol down here. And what that does is it will allow you to create a new object like a distribution board. You can then add individual circuits to that distribution board. And then you can add tests that you want to carry out on that circuit. And then when you go to do the testing, it will populate those test results, leaving you with all the information for each circuit all nice and neatly together in the same place. 
What if I ever get stuck when using the tester? Well, that brings us nice and neatly on to number seven. If we come out of this menu back to our main screen there, and let's just pick a, a random test. Let's go back and say, I don't know how to do the surge protection test on a device like that. So I'm in this test menu. I want to carry out the test on a surge protection device, but I don't know how to. All I've got to do is press this little question mark, and that takes you to a visual help menu. And can you see there, it's actually showing you how to connect your leads together, where to connect it in the instrument, and where to connect your leads onto the device that you're testing. And this is in place for all of the tests that you can carry out inside here. So that includes very simple tests like your continuity of CPC, all the way up to slightly more complicated tests that maybe you've not done before, like testing your EV charge point. So often when carrying out tests, we get lots of results, scrap pieces of paper to record those results on. Does the Matrel MI3152 have a function to store these results? Absolutely, it does. If we were to test this surge protection device, we would be able to save and store those test results on the tester itself, and then we'd be able to, at a later stage, download that into a document for printing and distribution. So when we're testing within each menu, is there any way of changing the parameters of the test? Yeah, we've touched on this already. So number nine on our top 10 features list in this little box down here in the corner, this is our kind of parameters menu, if you like. So from any test, you can click on that box and you can go in. So let's say that we wanted to change the type of earthing arrangement that we've got for our surge protection device. We can change that from TT to TN to TNC to TNS. So we've got that option available to us. So, so many to choose from. What's the one you've chose to be 10? So number 10, I think, is a really important one. If we come all the way out of this menu and go into another menu, let's, let's pick a loop test here. When we set up the test room, when we carry out the tests, we can change the parameters. So what's the value of this? Well, if we change the circuit breaker size that we've got here, so at the minute it's 6 amps, it's not just enough to carry out the test, we know that. We also need to uh, confirm those tests and make sure that it complies with the regulations, don't we? We need to confirm our results. Now, the tester can do that for us automatically because all of the uh, maximum uh, earth fault loop impedance values that were allowed for the different breaker sizes, all of that information and lots of other information is all pre-populated inside here. So effectively, it's like you've got the whole regs book inside the tester, which is a really, really powerful thing to have at your fingertips. And also, of course, we know that the regulations don't stay still, they change, we have amendments, we have new additions, and when that happens, Matrell update the information. Again, you can do that over the internet from the comfort of your own home. You don't have to send it off to be calibrated or upgraded or anything like that. It's all done via the comfort of your own home. So you can update the latest edition of the regulations should those values go through changes. I've got a feeling we didn't even scratch the surface with the 10 features of the Matrel 3152. Absolutely. We could have said, Joe, what's at number 11? What's at number 12? We could have kept going a top 20, a top 30 even. Clearly, when Matrel were designing this product, they had the electrician clearly at the center of that design process, and they have created a product that makes electricians' lives easier. And we love products that make electricians' lives easier. Yeah.